think oh snap must be do from parara in ushago what you know the that? river oh the river you <laughs> did that <laughs> yes i did it was the one thing i looked forward to when i went to sharks i didn't like <laughs> I am great. Well, let me just put this down. <laughs> I'm not so sure what's about to hit me, but I'm here for it. Bring it. Okay. You're ready. Okay, so first of all, tell us what is the inspiration behind this glow? Wow. <laughs> this glow here. <laughs> it's Jesus minding my own business, hydrating. Uh -huh, uh -huh, you know, and uh -huh. just basically just being myself. I am comfortable um, in my skin mm -hmm. and I dress in a comfortable way. So I feel. I'm my best self uh -huh. when I'm in that space. I'm in that space right? Yeah. So which is one of your best memory as a child? Oh, as a child. As a child. As a child. I was in boarding school most of my life wow. as a child. Mm -hmm. I think oh snap must be do from Pararo in Ushago. What you know the that? river? Oh the river. <laughs> you did that? <laughs> yes, I did. It was the one thing I looked forward to when I went to Shags. I didn't like shags that much, but because I was in boarding school, so if you're in boarding school, you want to come back to Nairobi and have a yeah, good time yeah, with your yeah, friends. Yeah. But wako apana, you have to go to shags. So it was the only thing. Mm -hmm. I don't think I had like a most of my school, my, oh, most of my child life was in school. In school, yeah. And there's nothing much that is fine about that. Okay, so you grew up in Nairobi or where? Born in Akuru, raised in Nairobi, went to boarding school in class four all the way to form four. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So you, you most of your But time not boarding school not in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. I went to boarding school in Makwini. In Makwini, yeah. which high school? Mboni Girls. Oh Mboni Girls. Yes. Hey you are the chops. <laughs> we try. <laughs> Alright, so can you cook? Yes. Or which yes. food do you cook best? <sighs> a couple. If I have guests in my house, mm -hmm. people who've never tasted my meal, mm -hmm. I will definitely do maybe pork ribs mm -hmm. and I have a signature dish that most of my friends like, well, not most of my friends, but there's this particular friend of mine who does not understand how I make mash, mash doma, but I love it. I know, I know. Mash it's, doma. Yeah, it's, it's very easy to make, mm -hmm. but it's so yummy. So I'll occasionally, if you're my guest, mm -hmm. that is my specialty. So it's the same process as sweet as the potatoes? Do you smash? N not, not quite. Mm -hmm. You boil them a bit mm -hmm. and then after you boil them, uh, on a separate sufuria, you chop your onions and just salt and maybe whatever spice you like. I like to keep it on a very minimal kind of spice because it already comes with its own flavor. And then mix it all up and then mash it up. So it's karangwad ndoma. Yeah, that is mashed. So currently you as Mikali, are you doing what you've always wanted to do as a child? Yes, I am. Uh -huh. I am and I think this question would be answered very well by my parents i think they saw it before i did mm -hmm. uh, because they quite literally led me to this path i was more of the acting mm -hmm. i did that when i was really really young mm -hmm. and till like today i still do that but um the tv radio my dad saw that before i saw it so mm -hmm. yeah your actually your parents actually led you to yes yes they did okay so wh what would you tell people who you know journalism is not a career that every parent 
Yeah. yeah, so what would you tell somebody who's outside that really ambitious about it and their parents are against it? Or even the community? It is a real career, y'all. Look at me, nine years in. And I think parents, you've already lived your life, yeah? Mm -hmm your job is to guide your child and to know what it is that they want what passion is in them and nurture it uh, wanting them to live your dream or certain careers are what is expected of you about certain careers whatever it might not be their passion and they might just give you that degree and then and then they go out there and just do the thing that they love so it is important to listen to your children and guide them knowing their strengths and their weaknesses but that's the one thing that they really really do enjoy doing so let them fly. I mean, Lupita is an actress. Let them do Lupita. what they want to do. Yeah. Okay, so, Mikael, which is your weirdest habit? Like, una, una, una fire, they're like, oh my god, what is this? Weirdest habits. <laughs> I don't think it's a weird habit, mm -hmm. but it can get extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, I laugh a lot. But then, when I'm really, really excited, it is very loud extremely loud and then what comes after that is a i don't know how to call it it's a painful experience like a shuffling in my head and it started way back in high school you know the way you'd go to funkies and then we are loud and then immediately like in between all of that i will be seen holding my head like this because i i have such a an acute an acute headache boss your morning yeah you're girls go i'm not i like you very much no you can't from my laughter and i love to laugh so you can imagine i am constantly having headaches because of laughing so i think that's a weird habit i don't know yeah. all right so thank you so much Mikani. thank you and there, for having me subscribe 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 <laughs> Yeah, so do drag me for another segment and it's bye-bye for me and Mikali. <laughs>